Hey guys, uh, recording here uh, a Garden of Death Nightmare run with the amazing Mage Gargamel and with the unbelievable Archer Dai. And I want to see what kind of crazy damage they dish out and help out Legorn and myself with this dungeon. Two are already on ready. I'm gonna toss in an experience scroll and start a dungeon. I'm so curious at what kind of insane damage these two guys are gonna do. Definitely not comparable to whatever I can dish out. So I didn't even bother setting the formation. I think I don't. I don't even know who should be at fr in the front. <laughs> Leghorn is in front, which is probably not the best idea. I'm not sure who has the highest defense. Let's get the sound on and put quickly the formation oh, we and see how this works out <laughs> yes <laughs> Leghorn is noting <laughs> how incompetent the room owner is I agree I didn't set at all the formation and Leghorn lost some life to that Gargamel of course now in front he probably has ridiculously more uh, defense than I do so I'm looking like a silly knight over there whoop there's a treasure chest shadow crystal always welcome okay let's look at the rain of fire of Gargamel it must be ridiculous that's Wow, that is seven and six something thousand. So that's a regular attack from Dai dishing out seven thousand damage. Look at that, twelve thousand out. Let's go for a whirlwind here. No point in doing side buildings. Okay. Some whirlwind damage from me. But did you see the raid? The fireball thrown by Gargamel is insane. Let's have a look again. A regular attack from Dai. 9,300 regular attack. 14 plus thousand damage from Garg is really crazy. Let's see how uh, myself and Leghorn deal with it. Actually, we get three experience books for that which is absolutely useless 15 experience another useless thing so I look silly probably using the um, using the whatchamacallit the experience scroll I don't know but I had a lot of it anyway so and I, it's worth it for this battle Eight hundred damage taken by Garg only. Oh, that wasn't the boss. I'm curious how hard the boss is gonna hit him. Thousand six hundred Santori coming in from Leghorn. I do about four thousand. There comes the whatever deep freezer, whatever <laughs> that skill is called from the archer. Ten thousand damage. Six thousand from Leghorn. Nine thousand from Garg. So you see the difference in in the damage. Six thousand regular attack from Dai. There goes the double 7,000 damage Reign of Fire is just wonderful that Garg is doing and remember that is an area attack and so he is so ruthless against anybody on the map. I'm very curious to see also some other skills from Dai. There goes again I don't remember what was that archer skill called. Fifteen and a half thousand damage. They, what was uh, that skill called? That's really wonderful damage. Let's see the lightning from Garg hitting at eight thousand multi shot. 
Deep freeze, that's what it is. You got deep fry. <laughs> Oh, that, that is the, the purification version of the archers. Again, I suck at remembering the names. But this mini boss is so going down. Six and a half thousand double multi shot from Dai. Somebody screaming in the world chat they need a guild, which is probably the easiest thing to get. Blocked. And a nine thousand critical regular attack from die which makes my attack look very silly indeed here we got legendary stones and the crystals actually what are we doing here i'm not entirely sure i think legorn is collecting uh the legendary stones for upgrading one of his items and i don't mind collecting them myself just in case who knows maybe i decide to upgrade or something but i don't think so but doesn't hurt anyways it'll just serve as a completion of a uh, uh, multiplayer dungeon and have a nice recording for it also even though we don't get probably huge experience from it but who cares sometimes you just want to have fun and it doesn't have to be about numbers very nice multi shot there I wish I had that at that level can you just imagine what Dai is doing to the world boss I mean he is making a complete sandwich from him Gargamel taking on the six this is gonna be wonderful now look at the stubble 7000 punishment that he just unleashed and look at a fireball coming in again six four and seven one that is a one man army right there whirlwind from my side some extra 800 damages because I have, uh, although I didn't see them, but I think they must have been there somewhere. Leghorn goes down. Oh no, but okay, we win. It's not so terrible. But how the hell did they get Leghorn? I didn't pay attention. No reward for me, unfortunately. I'm curious how they're killing Leghorn. I'm just going to pay attention to see where their damage is coming from. Garg is just punishing them, rain of fire, fireball and surgical multi shot coming in from Dai. Ah, that's what it is, it's the whirlwinds and Legorn doesn't have the health to withstand it. But this time he survives. That is, I don't know if that is lack of health or lack of physical defense, not entirely sure about that we are nearing to the next boss I just love the rain of fire coming out now look at that damage I mean 7000 casual shot by Dawi Dai there goes the fireball from Garg is wonderful really it's like 14000 damage stable no luck, no nothing, no critical. It's probably, um, if I remember correctly, he would have the will destroyer, which is increasing his damage and removing the chance for criticals. That's why you don't see any criticals from Garg. Next mini boss there. Do I have the time to quickly have a look at Garg here, number two player? Do I see his astrals? There it is, Will Destroyer 6, increasing damage by 30%. And of course, all astrals orange at his level with his income and activity also. Area damage by Garg and myself with Whirlwind. I don't see Santoria, I think. Santoria, thank you. Garg is getting hurt. Wow, 13,000 damage to Garg. That is crazy. If he is getting hurt that much, I would have been just smashed in front. But this is where archers come in and Dai is going to punish this boss. 
I don't have the rage for Delphic, but I'm curious. We get now a bonus 10% damage by die, uh, die or day. Not sure actually how to pronounce it. Garg is holding on in there, a healing coming through from Leghorn. Nice 9,000 simple lightning, 16,500 deep freeze from die. That is so sweet because it's not only the damage, it's also the deep buff reducing the cast speed spe casting speed by 100%, which is very nice against bosses, at least those on which that works. 14,000 smash on Garg. And Dai just keeps on punching. Here comes the Delphic Destroyer with a critical finally, so I can also contribute. Not a complete waste of space here. He tosses in the, uh, the thorns, reflect 30% of damage, so that is gonna hurt Garg, I think. I'm curious actually, but Dai dispelled it before Garg could get hurt. Really good timing on that uh, negation or purification. The purification, actually, the mage's spell, I don't remember the archer's version's name, but basically it does the same thing just purification from the mage cleans the bad effects from your own party, whereas the archer's one cleans it from the upon opponent. Very easy, clean run right here. Garden of Death Nightmare. Of course, if you have powerful players like that, is definitely going nice and smooth. Bears clawing at Garg and doing nothing. Although they saw the oh, he has illusion. He just got only one damage from from one of the bears, so he has illusion astral. Also, I didn't get to see it so fast. I also actually have illusion but I don't have money to level it up but it's definitely on my to-do list that illusion can be really annoying 1000 gold I think I'm just gonna cry how rich I just became with this 1000 gold it doesn't even buy a bloody astral a gray one Fifteen thousand. Okay. Sometimes the rewards. Oh, creep key. That's nice. Oh, I think Dai is going for. No, no, he's not. I thought for a moment he is. Is he? I think he, he summoned our doubles. Oh, this is going to be epic. Cool. Haha, <laughs> I have no idea. I think we're going to die. I think we're so going to die. So I'm gonna have a Garg, evil Garg, attacking me with 15,000 damage, Rain of Fire followed by a Fireball, are you kidding me? Here we go! I don't even know what I'm supposed to be using. Should I have used the slasher or not? I don't know. Let's go with the whirlwind. And there's a f all area damage. Look at that. Look at wonderful archer damage. Comes in the fireball. And I think that does it. There is the rain of fire from. Oh, I do almost no damage to Garg. Only 700. Three times for the whirlwind. There is the fireball. Smashing die. I'm gonna put up a shield to survive some of that 12,000 damage almost gets me down Leghorn is down, but we did it 
That's very nice. Although Garg is just destroying us, it, it is just unbelievable. Thank God he hit. He didn't hit me with that lightning. Very nice. Very nice. So we're gonna get extra legendary stone for that. Could have gotten two, but that's already good enough. And thanks for that chance for have so that I could record that. So thanks for summon. Wow, that's got 188 skeleton keys. <laughs> oh, I can't believe it. He's just summoning the second one. No, one is enough. Let's get some rage back with the slasher. Hysterical boss. Oh damn, I should put up a shield with... Ah, uh, bad timing. I should have put up the shield earlier. Let's do it now. Nice, 8000 damage by die. That's pretty good. Oh, worst case with I. Oh, did it? Did it almost, almost took out Garg? I can't believe it. Let's toss in the Delphic Destroyer, but he does have reverse damage, so I am going to actually die. I'm gonna kill myself. Yep. I practically killed myself doing that. Not good. Okay, me and Legorn are out. <laughs> Let's see if they can do it. You know, something tells me they can actually kill him. I mean, Dai can kill him solo if Gar keeps him alive. There goes the blessing. If he can actually do it, I think he can. There's 18,000 healing. I mean, that is insane. 6,000 lightning. I think they are doing it. Another healing coming in from Garg. 11, almost 12,000, although his blessed light was way more powerful. Dai just dodged with one damage, all of that. That is hilarious. Santoria? Where does even Garg hide all, this, uh, all these skills? The bleeding is gonna take its toll though, that's why the purification, and there goes. Garg, unfortunately, that were so close. Although, I don't know, maybe Dai can make it. He's so powerful. One, the main boss is out. Can he make it? He has one third of his life, but he does have Santoria and he's doing crazy multi shots. There goes the area damage. One on one. Oh, this is a physical defense. So die. Oh, okay. That that's not going to work out so well. Oh. 
1000 and he is healing so I guess he's not me but there is the special attack from the archer and I forgot the name of it it's probably something Delphic also but that is the the top boss for who the, the physical defense is insane but look at the power of Garg and Dai, it's just unbelievable and while they are running over here I'm just gonna show you here is Dai over here or Day level 66 with 13,000 attack actually while I'm here I don't mind to drink a tiny potion just to bring my chances a little higher and let's look at the Australs uh, where are they here so he's got physical attack critical damage increased magical defense critical increased reduce all damage and pristine fortitude which is the physical defense We got Leghorn, he deceived, but he, he is just gonna probably reload the whatchamacallit the browser and he'll be right back for the boss kill. I actually wonder if my block is of any use here. I'm gonna take out the block and put in the reduced damage by nine percent. That's what we talk about. <laughs> So Leghorn is coming in. I don't know, am I supposed to invite him somehow or... Oh, he, he just came in. Okay, cool. So I think, yeah, what I wanted to say is that yeah, you need some flexibility with your Astrals to adapt. It's always a good idea. And also when, I, when I'm fighting the world boss, I use the critical damage increase by 10% rather than my block here we go and this time it's gonna be proper because Dai has got uh, the proper correct skills which are needed to make this a walk in the park so I better remember to put in my shield or there it is casting speed has been reduced by 100% so that's why you don't see him casting anything Santoria coming through so I will get a healing to start with. Let's see, multi shot coming through. Lightning from Garg at 5,000. Leghorn 3. Multi shot 4, 4,000. That's 8,000. So archers are really insane. Negation of the reverse damage. Again, a great job done by Dai. Purification coming in from Garg. Removing the bleeding effect, which is a really painful. It would be nice to get a healing from Leghorn or for himself or better for Garg. Two times blessed healing, that is not a good thing, not a good thing. Well actually, yeah, uh, well, at least we're at full health. Delphic Destroyer coming through. Again. He's got the reverse damage on 50% of damage dealt back. That is so powerful. Oh, I just ate that. I just ate that damage. Bleeding effect cleaned up by Garg. And here we're all alive and we are so killing them. And by we, I mean myself and Lagorn are doing the minimum part of the job. Garg is getting smashed right and left and it's not hurting him one bit. I put in the whirlwind although that was a bad decision given that there are two guys with reverse damage but I have survived that remarkably well. 
But you see how smooth the second fight went with the right skills and attitude compared to the first one. Although Garg is a dangerously low health, but I see healing coming through. And we do have a 10% damage buff, 30%. What is that? 30% decrease in damage, so it's like two a buff and a debuff at the same time. That was great, 35,800 damage, what a great ending of the video that is. Really amazing guys there, and actually we do get experience, 91,000, and I get a luck stone. Gar gets two legendary stones, nice, although he probably doesn't need them. So there you go, I hope you enjoyed that video, click like, subscribe, share with friends. And thanks for watching.